Alright, we're just about ready to get started. One moment as I finish setting everything up. Alright, uh, welcome back to another Pokemon Yellow stream, number six, and the last one absolutely destroyed Koga with the power of Sand Slash. We gotta find Surf, we gotta find Surf now. Uh, also the Safari Zone's like right here, so we might do that today. Check that out. Uh, yeah, real, real quick check. Three badges left. With the mystery badge as the the eighth one. I wonder who that could be. What are you doing on the door, Pikachu? Seems like he's pretty excited to get started with things today. Uh... Right. Actually, how are we doing? Okay, it looks like I healed everybody up last time. TM06, what are you? Oh, Toxic. Don't need that right now. Celadon City, Fuchsia City. Oh right, this is where the bike path is. I might need to go through here, actually. Let's go grab the bike and see if that's where we need to go. I, I don't know where to get Surf at. I'm led to believe it's somewhere pretty close by.
So it it could be over there in the bike path. Potentially. Possibly. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Bicycle. I don't have it, like, stashed in here somewhere, do I? Yeah, I don't think... I think it's... Is it HM6? Three? I don't remember. We've got the bike now. So let's just go check this out over here, shall we? Lime green striped Pikachu. All uphill from here. Oh no. No pedestrians permitted. So what if you, like, just stop to, like, you know, set one foot off your bike for a second? This have, like, a, like, an Abra or an Alakazam that just teleports behind you. It just, like, teleports you out of the area. Why do I hear boss music? Uh, okay. Trainer? Pokemon battle on bikes. Oh, he's got five Pokemon, too. See, it's, it's kind of funny, because I never thought anything of that back in the day. But now you look at how, like, most of the games... Especially, what was it? Like, the Diamond and Pearl remakes, where, like, everybody had, like, maybe, like, two Pokemon tops. Uh, Sand Slash is absolutely the right choice here. Has there ever been a better Pokemon for dealing with this? That's a rhetorical question. I already know the answer. They look kind of- that's kind of a weird angle for Weezing in that sprite. They're like rotated, like, downwards a little bit. What are they supposed to be? Literal poisonous bubble. At least coughing's nice enough to be, uh, labeled correctly. Hmm, it's almost as if having a team of just one Pokémon is a, is a bad idea. I guess it's kind of good that you have trainers like this. I mean, it's easy to take for take for granted, like, understanding type matchups. If you've been playing Pokemon your, your whole life. But if this was, like, your first Pokemon game... It'd actually probably be really good for helping teach you the game. Satisfied. Five hundred dollars. Oh. Catch a few Z's. 
after catching these hands. We're gonna learn. We're gonna learn surf the hard way. Because right right now it's like, oh, this is on a slope. So if I let go of the, uh, if, if I'm not holding up, it just automatically pushes you down. Which is a cool effect. I mean, for the time, like. That's probably the best way you could imply that there's like a steep hill here. <laughs> they like wanted to like have me jump off into the water. What's the sign say? It's a notice. Don't throw the game, throw Pokeballs instead. What? Okay, there's a guy here. I'm not afraid of you. We do want to give some of our other Pokemon a chance to shine, though. We got Venusaur. We've only got War Turtle. I'm gonna put them in the front because I want them to get more experience. We're definitely gonna keep them on our team too because uh, we need someone that can use Surf, and I'm assuming Blastoise will learn Surf. That is kind of weird now that I'm thinking about it, though. The <laughs> cue ball wants to fight. <laughs> is it because he's bald? Or is it because he's round? Maybe a little bit of both. Oh, well, that's where his hair went. A little bit spicy with anger. Let's uh, kind of pose him down a little bit. That's not doing much. Okay, we need to switch. Okay, so fighting type. I kind of just want to use Charizard. I don't know why. I just feel like it. This is just a Charizard situation, I think. Fury swipes. You cut that out. Not... Maybe that's a poor, a poor choice of words. How did we miss? Come on, choice of word. Got him. Not to use Machoke. Yeah, let's switch some Pokemon around, shall we? Maybe bring the War Turtle back out? I just want them to get as much experience as possible. Right now, they're the only Pokemon we have that's under 30. Also, what is that Machoke sprite? Isn't Machoke supposed to be the small one? That looks like they just took like a like Machoke's Wait. I'm confused. It's Machop, Machoke, Ma Machamp. Like they took the, the head of the small one and put it on the body of the, the middle one. And it's kind of freaking me out a little bit, not gonna lie. Oh, that's not good. Uh, okay. The smart thing to do here. Would be do, would be a switch out. 
How about a little, uh, plant magic here? Poison powder, leech seed, razor leaf. Big crits. Critical leaf. Defeated cue ball. <laughs> What is that? Did they ever like bring this kind of this uh, trainer class back in any of the other games? Because I don't ever remember a cue ball. <laughs> you're ready to fight for your beliefs, unless you're just wrong. It was on this side. Cue ball on that side, Pin Pinhead Lario on this side. Looks like it. Why am I, well, I... I just feel like I need to throw Snorlax out. Well, that's actually not a bad choice when you think about it. Because so we can always just rest, and then that will get rid of the poison. I just want to make sure I do that before the fight's over. Pretty sure you can't use rest outside of battle. By poison amnesia. I want to see what amnesia does. I forgot what it does. E special greatly rose hurt by poison. Rest. Why did they attack first? Oh yeah, because Snorlax is slow. Deserved. Unfortunately. Didn't mean to hit Poison Sting. Didn't I read the sign? Throw Pokeball, it's not the game. Oh, War Total 29. That's nice. Another step closer to Large Turtle. Alright, Sand Slash, I'm gonna just dig a pit underneath the muck. And just get, like, drained into it. $580. Slope makes it hard to steer. What's up here? Route 17, Celadon City, Fuchsia City. I don't know how close we are to actually getting there. I get the distinct feeling that we're not actually on the right track for Surf, though. Ah, there's another guy. Ah, what the heck, we're only a down one Snorlax. Another cue ball. Oh, he's got a single Pokemon. It's another one of those uncanny Machokes. Okay, the question is who? Pikachu needs more experience. Low kick. Low damage? That's not low damage for a low kick. 
Hopefully Pikachu's fast. That seems to generally be the case. If you are electric type, then that means you're fast, right? Right? Something that's poisonable, at least. Hit him with a leech seed. Why they got a critical hit every turn? Switch for the Sand Slash, aka the uh, greatest Pokemon on our team. I could have swore HM moves were, were never that good, but this game is proving me wrong. I mean, for like combat reasons. It's like HM moves exist so you can move around, but... That's like one of the best moves we have available to us is Dig. Some Pokemon need element stones to evolve, they do. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to the Pokemon Center because I don't like having our having team members fainted. Because you just know I'm gonna go to a fight where it's just like, oh yeah, Snorlax would be the perfect choice here. If we still had him. they would let you have your Pokemon out in the newer games. Like Pikachu here. Behold its passion, Pink. What? This is Coral. It isn't... This isn't Fuchsia. Colorblind Pokemon team. Where the Pokemon Center at? They gotta have some really strong, like, uh, Hospital beds for like Snorlax or like what what do they even do like imagine you're like working at a Pokemon Center, right? Like you're you're one of the uh, Pokemon medical professionals who work at this institution And someone comes in with with the Whalmer <laughs> Like Where are you where are you gonna put him? He's not gonna even fit in the building let alone one of the rooms. Whatever you do, don't let him out of the Pokeball. Just just treat him while he's in the Pokeball. I mean, I guess that is what they do. Because it's like they transform the Pokemon into, like, pure energy. And stash him away inside of a pocket dimension. Also, why is it when we're on our bike, our, our hat becomes square? Is it a different hat? Is this the bike riding hat? I want to stay off to this side. There's another trainer over here. Is that why they call them Pokemon? I know it's supposed to be like pocket monsters, but when you think about it even closer, what is a Pokeball, if not a Pocket Dimension Ball? Hmm. 
That's such a neat idea, I think. The Pokeball is bigger on the inside. Let Voltorb electrify you. Uh, no thank you, I'll pass. Oh man, Biker wants to fight. Why does he look familiar? Not the Voltorb. Obviously, I know why they look familiar. The trainer, I mean. Also, Sand Slash, come out here. Self-destruct! I'm so glad we just went back to the Pokemon- Wait, that did nothing! <laughs> why- why would you do that to your own Pokemon? Just dig underground. Oh, he had a- he hit light screen. I thought he was gonna self-destruct too. Self-defeating trainer. Grounded out. That, that is how electricity works. Full tour of at the abandoned power plant. Right, that's that's a thing. Oh, there's tall grass up here. You fight? I have to pick fights with every single person I, I walk across the path of. How's the matchup between poison and water? I think it goes the opposite way, but I'm gonna check anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's mostly level disadvantage there. I'm surprised that it didn't resist, though. Yeah, I think it's grass is the one that I need to be worried about. Okay. Break out the Sand Slash. You didn't. So annoying. It wouldn't be so bad if it wore off after battle. But no. We just have that now. I mean, we've got a million antidotes, so it's not really a big deal. I anticipated we would need a lot more for Koga. Are you looking for adventure? No, I'm looking for Surf. Antidote. Spritz that sand slash down with that. Little... Little sand slash zest. Oh, another one of these guys. Only level 26? Okay. Man key. About to use another one. I guess we'll try and use War Turtle as much as possible here. Since this is a pretty decent, uh, 
we were pretty much on even ground here and we got a slight level advantage. Oh, not Fury Swipes. Critical Fury Swipes? Ah, uh, but only hit twice. I guess that's the fighting type critical hit move. Karate Chop. Got to use my choke. Yeah, we'll switch. Bring out the chores award. Man, I wish we'd get another fire type move besides Ember. Slash. Almost got a 10. Actually, yeah, we got a 11 level advantage. I really ought to go through all of our TMs and start teaching our Pokemon some moves. I think after we get Surf, that's probably the best time to do that. I'm pretty sure that's like the last big HM we need. Well, I mean, we also need Strength, I guess. Resort. <laughs> sure, you lost weight there. He's got plenty to spare. What does this sign say? Trainer tips. Press the A or B button to stay in place while on a slope. What? You wait until now to tell me this? Trainer tips? All Pokemon are unique? And Pokemon of the same type and level grow at different rates? Yeah, because natures were actually secret. Like, uh, Eevees. Not the Pokemon, but the, but the values. Eevees and Ivies. We're actually not, uh, you, you couldn't, you couldn't find them, you, like, you couldn't, like, in-game figure them out without doing, like, a bunch of, like, complicated math. Like, the game doesn't tell you that they're there, like it, like it does now. doing the item finders at the top. Well, that sign lied to me. Can you believe that? Someone's just gonna put a sign out here that isn't true. What kind of Pokemon live out in the grass out here? Okay, there's like two guys, three guys. Bring it on. There's no money in fighting kids. Yeah, because you're gonna just lose it all. Cue ball. <laughs> if that even is your real name. I was thinking we should take that water type move we learned from Misty and give that to Wurtwortle. Like, that's obviously better than Bubble. I mean, look at this.
Bring out the Venusaur. Plant. They are tanky, though. My little seasoning. Oh, it didn't affect them. Lame. Okay, how about you catch these leaves instead? That's what I thought. Got to use Primate. Switch back to Water Turtle. Oh, don't even think about it. Oh no. Don't crit. Okay, they survive. Just barely. That's good. That means we still get the experience. Send out the tanks. Tank lax. Snore tank. What good is Amnesia if we don't have any special special type moves? Headbutt. Does Snorlax learn Hyper Beam? I think they do. Burned out. You can say that again. Lying around on Cycling Road. I don't know where though. What do you want, kiddo? Your soul. And your money. Well, there's the Machop. Sword, Snorlax, Sandslash. Yeah, we'll have Sandslash take care of this. Does Cut work really well in this? And crit for the slash. Can you really call it a crit if it if it literally crits every every time you use it? Isn't that just a higher base damage, effectively? Pretty sure you can't not crit with with slash. I'd like to see you try. You heading to Fuchsia? No, I'm leaving Fuchsia. Sing. We singa. Bring out the spicy lizard. Oh, of course. They gotta break out the poison. How does fire work on poison types? Neutral. Neutral and normal.
Charizard just got beamed up into space. That's not great. At least he's got Slash. Yeah, we're gonna switch. Uh, yeah. Why don't they bring Sand Slash back? I get it. He, he was too powerful. The game couldn't handle him. If they brought Sand Slash back in the modern games, he would just breeze through the whole game. Just like that. What is that haircut? Why do they all have the same haircut? Okay, we need to break out another one of them antidotes. I still got nine of them. Have to cure Charizard of PlayStation Network. I think this is about time to go back to the Pokemon Center again. I'm always just so paranoid about that. Everybody's gotta be at full HP or else we're not gonna be able to handle whatever's the game's gonna throw at us. Not like we have super fast transportation to go back to town or anything. I think our team is pretty much more or less uh, how it's going to be for most of the rest of the game. I can't think of who I would switch Snorlax with. I want to keep the starters. We got to keep Pikachu. And we're not getting rid of Sand Slash. I guess that's kind of a problem with, with Yellow specifically. Because you get all of the Kanto starters. It's just like, how, how do you not use all the Kanto starters? And that's half your team filled up. And you got Pikachu, you can't not have Pikachu. So, effectively that gives you two slots. And the only reasonable thing to do is to have Sand Slash be in one of those. Like, I think I would, I'd switch Snorlax for, like, a Legendary. Like, if we got Mewtwo or something, I'd, I'd switch the Snorlax out, probably. That's about the only thing I can think I would do differently, though. I'd like to have incorporated the Eevee somehow, but let's be honest, the starters have better stats than the, uh, than any of the Eeveelutions do. I mean, technically Jolteon's better than Pikachu, but you wouldn't get to see Jolteon walking around behind you. Oh, what a mistake having Ponyta. Wait, this is Wild Ponyta, we can catch this. Oh no. Getting roasted by a horse. 
Okay, they withstood bubble pretty well. Let's see how they take water gun. Just puts them right in catching range. That's a pretty good sprite for Ponyta, I think. Not too far off of how they are now. I'll just throw out a regular Pokeball. I mean, we're gonna start getting Ultra Balls, but... We gotta get rid of these regular Pokeballs first. Fire Horse. In case you didn't realize what they're supposed to be. <laughs> Capable of jumping incredibly high, its hoofs and sturdy legs absorb the impact of a hard landing. How much horsepower is that? So there's allegedly hidden stuff here somewhere. Oh. There's a whole flock of people on bikes up here. Burn turtle. Okay. We will switch. I mean, Sand Slash is obviously the right right choice here. I feel bad because I just keep leaning on Sand Slash, but... It's not my fault Sand Slash is perfect for literally every situation, basically. I don't remember there, there being this many poison types at this point in the game. I can't do anything. Are you gonna hurt something that's under the ground? They're only level 26, which is actually quite surprising. I think we were able to get access to the top part of the uh, bike path earlier. I just didn't do it. Oh, didn't mean to hit that. Just gonna breeze through these bike people. Level 40, that's our first level 40. Of course he's gonna be our, our first level 40. Don't make me mad. You should be mad at yourself. He deserved to lose. Wow, that's a lot of them. Okay. Bring it. Hey, you just bumped me. No, I didn't. I... <laughs> These people. Oh, he's only got one Pokemon? Yeah, I'm definitely getting some, uh, we've probably had axes. Is, isn't this where, like, the other Snorlax is? Like, on the other side of this? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this connects to where the other Snorlax was, was kind of blocking the road off. Potential second Snorlax. Are those just like the only two Snorlaxes in the game? Like if you fail to catch one of the two that blocks your, your path, you're just out of luck with Snorlax for the rest of the game? Get to Fuchsia from Vermilion using a coastal road. I'm feeling hungry and mean. 
Who asked? Cue ball wants to fight. With a singular Machop. see here. I want to use War Turtle. Technically, technically they're out now, so they'll, they'll get experience. So I'll switch to the Venusaur instead. Need to get some of our lower level Pokemon uh, a little bit more experience. Get Razor Leaf, because that'll crit. And one shot. There may be a lot of trainers here, but at least they only have like one Pokemon. Kind of makes me wonder why they didn't just put like one trainer with a bunch of Pokemon here. I said I'll Mankey. You can take care of this War Turtle. Okay, they're using Focus Energy. Uh, I'm gonna heal just a little bit, just a tiny little bit. Just a small amount. I'm pretty sure they can take this. We gotta get that Blastoise. I mean, I'm pretty sure War Turtle can learn Surf, but... They're trying to learn Withdraw. What does Withdraw do? Uh, you know what? Bubble is kind of useless. I'm going to swap Bubble with Withdraw just so I can see what it does. And if it's something useless, I'll just use the TM from Misty to replace it. I think this is why I like never really learned to use the stat increasing moves back when I was playing this game when I was younger, because it doesn't tell you what anything does. Like, it's totally different. If I were to get into Pokemon now... Uh... You know, in an environment where you can... Oh, that's a Water-type move? Oh, their defense rose. Is that Water-type Harden? Did I just turn War Turtle into Blue Metapod? Oh, like it's withdrawing into its shell? Oh, uh, okay, I see. But yeah, like it with with it where it is now, where you can just fight other people online. I'm I'm sure I would have learned strategy totally different than just fighting NPCs. Because obviously the Game Boy Color was never internet connected. This game plays completely different against other people versus against NPCs. Please don't knock us out. Get rid of that other super potion, because super potions are lame and sad. Compared to Ultra Potion, Mega Super Crazy Ultra Hyper Potion Deluxe XD Gale of Darkness. <laughs> Withdraw again for the fun.
I actually kind of like that. It's like Metapod, if Metapod could actually do damage as well, and was blue, and was a squirrel turtle. Squirtle. It's like a pun, but like two different ways it's a pun. Because they're a squirrel turtle. Squirtle is. But it's also like squirt, like water. Pressure wash that Grimer. That seems really effective with draw. Only we weren't burned. Tackle. You can have tackle. Sure. You don't need tackle. About to use coughing. Yeah, they're a little bit too low on the old health. Let's switch over to Sand Slash again. And then they'll just totally one shot them. Probably could have just used Slash and then used the crit from that. Probably be just as effective as getting a type advantage move. We like just hanging here. What's it to you? Because you you like to pick fights. That's what it is to me. <laughs> Bunch of sore losers. I hate losing, get away from me. Oh wait, what, what was down here? No, down, down this way. Wait, what? But he's already on a bike. How is he gonna steal our bike if he's on a bike? You're just gonna put our bike on the back of your bike and drive off? Doesn't make any sense to me. Let's I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna spam more turtle again. Wait, did we run out of great potions? Huh. Okay. Hyper Potion it is. I think that does up to a hundred healing. I think maybe we'll, we'll do two withdraws because I think he has more than one Pokemon. It's kind of funny, we have to deal with the burn more than we have to deal with his moves. Unless he crits. There is that. Should be able to survive. As long as he doesn't crit us again. Which means we do have to live in fear of Karate Chop. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean... Yeah, Karate Chop. That, that, that was the one thing we needed to worry about. I guess we'll keep the Mankey, or not the 
we'll keep the Charizard for dealing with the Mankey for now. And we'll use Revive on the War Turtle. We got a few of those. So I, I really want them to get experience points. I don't mind spending a little bit of, of extra money on another revive. Switch them back in. Obviously not going to have the stat increases. Cry chop again. Okay, that was fine. That didn't crit, though. Just gonna do some Metapod strategies here. We should be fine, actually, I think. Yeah, that's gonna do nothing now. Because <laughs> our defense is so, so boosted. They can literally hit a five hit Fury Swipes and we're still fine. I am gonna want to use another Hyper Potion though. I don't know why critical hits just melt your defense though. It's like the extra damage from a critical hit just ignores your defense stat almost. Splash. More twirl used. Three consecutive water droplets. Like, Venusaur is 32. Oh, there's the Snorlax. Yeah. This is totally where we were before. Actually, is there an item around here? This feels like a hidden item area. Nope. Guess not. Definitely worth checking, though. What about here? Huh. They made it sound like there's a million items out here. Not so much. What is up these stairs? We're going riding together. It's funny, I, I keep looking through these binoculars everywhere, and I still can't seem to find who asked. Sleeping Pokemon blocks the way. Do we still have the Poke Flute? Ah. That is a problem, isn't it? Well. I mean, we know where that goes. We've been back there before. So I guess this was just like a, a shortcut we could have taken. Instead of the coastal path. We can always just fly up there. Is there another path over this way, though? I could have swore there was. This will be pretty handy for shortcuts back and forth, I guess. I say knowing good and well that I have fly, and that's totally not even an issue.
And then there's this grass here. Oh, that was uh, me touching the microphone, sorry. It's a double bird. That actually is pretty much perfect right there. Catch this. Do we have Doduo already? Okay, no. Go to a twin bird. Its short wings make flying difficult. Okay, so it can actually fly slightly. Instead, this Pokemon runs at high speed on developed legs. It's an emu. It's a double emu. Well, uh, this is, this is great and all, but where the heck is Surf? Wait a second. Nope. Okay, so it must be somewhere over here then. I mean, obviously they're not going to give that to us until after uh, Koga, because we needed to beat Koga to get uh, the ability to use Surf outside of battle. So, it's got to be close by Fuchsia Town. Yusha City, rather. Everything is... It's not Fuchsia, though. It's not... It's too warm to be Fuchsia. This is Coral. I guess that's the closest they could get on the game of no, no, never mind. The Lavender Town was uh, oh, probably closer. There's a narrow trail west of Viridian City. Is it the Safari Zone? Maybe that's what we ought to do. I definitely get the feeling like we've got to be pretty close to the surf zone. There's a little shack down here. Heavily guarded. Right here on the beach. Wait, you'll have a heart attack. What? <laughs> this guy. Water versus water. What are you waiting for? You know who would be great for dealing with all these water types? They weren't confused. Eventually, this is going to connect. Man, this is annoying.
I'm literally gonna have to switch Pokemon out because uh, Pikachu is confused. I swear, every time that you use a potion and you get attacked afterwards, it always is either a critical hit or it does way more damage than it's supposed to. That was a complete waste of a, a potion there. Okay, we're bringing Venusaur out. Stupid Goldian. How is that super effective? Catch these leaves, fish. Goldine's like, no, I am allergic to salad. Level 33, Venusaur. Catch these vines. What are they gonna do? What can they do? They can faint, that's what they can do. Got to use Star U? No. Gotta get revenge on all water types. Watch out for Tentacool. Ah yes, the Zubat of the Sea. Whoa. There's another Pikachu? Meandering about? That's so weird. Guess like our Pikachu sounds like voice acted Pikachu. But then that Pikachu is like Game Boy Growl Pikachu. Literally right next to each other in the same game. Wait. Dogs and burgers on special today. They just be eating hot dogs in the Pokemon universe, and they're just like, you ever wonder what a dog is? Thirty years of waves. Surfing, dude. Summer Beach House Pokemon, welcome. Wait a second. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find Surf, would you? Some sort of machine. Huh. I could have sworn that would have been it. You wouldn't happen to know where I might be able to borrow a cup of surf, would you? Pikachu should be fine now. Confusion doesn't last between battles. Ah. I see. Hopefully they won't crit immediately after I heal the Pikachu. Don't constrict though. They're about to send out Shelter. There's no sheltering from this storm. That is kind of a nice thing about playing this game, having the 
having the Pikachu with you. We're dealing with all the water-type Zubats that we're about to get swarmed by as soon as we find Surf. Is there an item on any of these? I feel like one of these ledges probably has has something hidden on it. Uh, I guess I'm wrong about that. Oh, hey, it's the Pokemon Center right here, and I totally didn't need to use the healing items. Great. Love that for us. I mean, it's not like we got a shortage of money, though. Destroy everything. And get paid to do it. What about over here? Some safari people. Oh! Requires strength to move. Pokemon photos and fossils. Halaf hafif i hafafi ho f. What? Sure. Did you understand that, Pikachu? Didn't understand a word of it. Uh. What? Who are you? Fishing Guru's older brother. Oh, upgraded fishing rod? Wait, did we get the. get the. got the good rod after we got the super mega crazy ultra deluxe rod did I do some sort of like order breaking at some point I'm too good at the game can't contain me from doing things out of order. Uh, okay, where's this... Where's Surf at? <laughs> Is it in this safari zone? Very knowledgeable about Pokemon. Understand him. I think he's gonna. Oh. Now I feel like a jerk for making fun of him. Is this just a picture of some random guy on the wall? of random guys and palm trees. Cut the celery. I wonder if you can even get in there. If you could, would that actually be a Voltorb, or would it just straight up be an unobtainable item of some sort? Do you have to go into the Safari Zone? Each zone has different kinds of Pokémon. Use Safari Balls to catch them. Oh. Oh, we should probably do that. Welcome to the Safari Zone.
Yeah, let's go open up a different, uh... A different Pokemon box, shall we? I don't remember if we're still in box one or two. Cause that would definitely suck if we just like, oh, we caught, we caught shiny, uh, everything, shiny Mew two, shiny Mew three, shiny Mew four. And then we didn't have any space in the box. Actually... Okay. Yeah, we'll switch boxes really quick. Change box. Let's do. Let's start from the bottom with the uh, Safari Zone ones. So now we're in box 12. Man, these trees grow back fast. But Sand Slash is even faster. Welcome to the Safari Zone. For just $500, you can catch all the Pokemon you want. Do it. Only use a special Pokeball here. I'll call you on the PA when you run out of time. Okay, so we gotta go fast. Any tips? Press the start button to check the remaining time. Oh, is it? It's based on how many tiles you move. Not time. Rest house. Take home as gifts. I'm just gonna try and see if the surf thing is here somewhere. Where did Eric go? Uh... Are there any Pokemon in here? 451. Nidoran. Do we have Nidoran? Throw rock. <laughs> Trainer uses rock throw. It's questionably effective. I don't think we have this version of Nidoran. Throw rock. They're angry. They ran. Nido ran. Center area. Yeah, we've already got them. We don't need them. Is Surf in here? I get the feeling Surf's hidden in here somewhere. Are you Surf? You are Carbos. Close enough. Oh, that looks kind of Surfy. Okay, I guess we go back this way. Are there any Pokemon in here? Oh, Marowak. Okay, we do want them. How about bait? Give them a little bit of a snack. And they ran. This is a scam. All the Pokemon are trained to not get caught. 
Yeah, just just keep giving us five hundred dollars. You get to keep all the Pokemon you manage to catch. All the Pokemon running away, not getting caught. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. There's no path forward here. What is this? I guess we had to go that way. Don't care about Nidoran. That particular Nidoran. Oh, you gotta go around. I'm stupid. I forgot about how I'm stupid, actually. Well, we know that now. What is this shape? Why is the grass cut like this? Grass doesn't form like that. What's TM37? That probably makes it worth 500 Pokemon dollars, right? What are you? Egg bomb. Ah, yes. A move I will never use. Another item. We'll restore that. We'll definitely take one of those. What about you? Rest house. 165? 163! It's not a rest house. Chancy. There's no, there's no surf in here either. Oh? No Nidorans necessary. funny. You go into the safari zone and you're just like, out the way Pokemon, I'm looking for something different. Your remaining time declines only while you walk. I see that. Wait, what goes up here? Oh yes, yeah, a dead end, of course. Beautiful. I'm gonna get like one step away from wherever Surf is. And then I'm gonna run out of time. Oh! Pincer. Do we eat food, Pincer? Catch him. You missed the Pokemon. Oh, they're still eating. Take two. Missed again. How do I miss every time? Win a free HM for finding the secret house. Ah. I think I know what that is. That pretty much confirms that there's something we need here, because if it's if they specified an HM. We got 27 steps left. Wait. Time's up. You lose. It'd probably be a lot better if we if we hadn't uh, retraced our steps. So we pretty much have to go through here because there's an HM of some sort. It's either gonna be strength or surf. Probably surf. So we we kind of need that. Why'd I go this way? It's like testing my sense of direction. How terrifying. 
Oh, what are, what are you? Max potion. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah, this is nothing. Okay, we are we were already in there. Okay, execute. That's another Pokemon we don't have. If I throw bait, how does that work? And then we throw a rock? Is that what we're supposed to do? They're angry. Throw more bait. It's a fireball? It broke free. Come on. Okay, we got an execute at least. <laughs> execute? Or as his friends call him, Egg. The heads attract each other and spin around. Must be six heads for it to maintain balance. That's really bizarre. I got one of you. Strangely pink execute. Still got 320 to go. Trainer tips. Is there a secret house over here somewhere? Kangaskhan. Two for the price of one. They ran. Scyther. So all the cool Pokemon are here. Okay, they're eating. There's the ball. You missed. They're they're still eating though. Get the get the, get the Scyther. How are- how are- how are we missing every turn? Am I supposed to throw the rock at him? That's gonna just spook him off, right? Oh, they're gonna do that on their own anyway. Uh... Do I go north? Could be a bad move. Could be a good move. I don't know. Oh, this is a dead end. Very sad. Okay. We go south. It's in here. Chansey. Level 7. Eat the bait. If they don't... If we don't catch them... What? They're eating, then they ran? They got two turns. That's cheating. Wait, how do I get down there? Uh... I think this is a dead end. Was up the correct way the whole time? Oh, maybe there somehow? We gotta spend a little money here. Oh, probably this way. This looks like it'll go around that wall. 
We got the execute at least. What do you say? Area 2. 37. Okay. What if... Okay, I throw the bait. And then they ran instantly. Ah. Cursed Safari Zone. Wait, is there something hidden here? No. This is gonna be one expensive HM. We can head up north through here. Oh, no! No! We ran out of. right before the item. Of course. Safari Zone's a scam. <laughs> I'm convinced. It's a scam that we have no choice but to participate in. Interested in any Nidorans, please? I'm gonna have this whole area like mentally mapped out by the time we're done. Cubone, we've already got Cubone. I guess I should be throwing more rocks at Pokemon, even though I feel like that would totally just spook them off. Aren't they like super broken in this game? Some bait. Have a rock. Was it like a like a taunt? Like it makes them stay here because they want to get revenge against us for making them angry? Get real mad. Really, really mad. No! Not run away, run away mad. Yeah, there's some vital information here that I don't possess currently. Do I go this way? Please tell me this isn't a dead end. Okay, it's not. Oh, this is the dead end. Isn't it? We're supposed to go the other way? We're gonna cross the sea of grass? Yeah, this is the place we're supposed to be. So that was a little bit of an un unnecessary detour there, but hopefully still have like half of our movement left. Go up this way. <laughs> you could say it's the Surfari zone. No more room for items. So let's say hypothetically, I made Snorlax faster. 
There you go. Now we've got room for an item. TM40. What is TM40? Skull Bash. Interesting. Also, I just realized we're not even going to have the stored space for Surf if we find it. Rest House. Is this the Surf House? Deepest part of the Safari Zone, you'll win, win a prize. Evolved into a Flareon, and into a Vaporeon, I wonder why. The stones. Okay. How much more walk do we have? 189. Yes. No more room for items. TM6, what is that? Toxic. Do we want to teach a Pokemon Toxic just so we can pick up this other item? So this team is more or less the team we're gonna have. Does it make sense? Maybe Venusaur with Toxic? Charizard, Sand Slash. Okay, so let's say hypothetically I wanted to teach Pokemon Toxic. All of them can. Literally all of them. You could have a Toxic Charizard, you could have a Toxic Snorlax, you could have a Toxic Pikachu. I could use that on Sand Slash, actually, because then that would get rid of the, uh... It would be like an upgrade for Poison Sting, but it'd also be a pretty good upgrade for Venusaur as well. Uh... Decisions, decisions. I don't think I'm gonna make that decision right now, though. Because I'm gonna have to come through here again anyway, probably. So we'll just store some stuff. And pick it up whenever we come through the second time. So we only got 164 walk left. And this is apparently yet another dead end. Well, no, there's actually a little bit more down this way. Can we maybe catch something to make this trip oh, at least worth a little bit of the 500? Not anything over there. This will keep going this way. Turn tips, secret house is still ahead. Oh, you're gonna have to be quicker than that. Another item, of course knows. Lost gold teeth, they're lying around somewhere. Oh, is that why he talks weird? He lost his teeth. Another item we can't pick up. It's never hurt more that we have such limited uh storage space. Ah, finally, you're the first person to reach the secret house. Great. Congratulations, you've won. You don't have room for this fabulous prize. Why can I only hold 20 items? Okay. What's the difference between Ether and Elixir? I don't, I don't know what you use that for. Escape rope, max Ether. Revive, hyper potion, let's go. The only thing I can think to do is to use Toxic on something. I want those other items. So I think rather than waste... Uh, ...an item just so we can get this... I'm gonna intentionally leave... 
We'll have to go back through here again, but we know the pathway through now. There's just all this stuff that I need to pick up. Ding dong. Time's up. Okay. Let's go store everything. We know exactly where to go now. I better act fast before I forget it again. In the Surfari Zone. Did my Pokémon need healing? Well, whatever, they're gonna get a checkup at least. Inspect the Pikachu. In my professional and expert opinion, yes, it is in fact a Pikachu. I don't find her Pokeball. I don't know what elixirs do. I'm not going to use the four stores until later on, so yeah, no, we're getting rid of those. Ether, town map, great. Oh, escape rope. Antidote. TMs, get rid of all the TMs. Fishing rod. Here are the TM. Here are the other TM. That gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like s seven inventory spots. Why don't they just give us more inventory space and less storage space? Now we would, like, take up the same amount of memory. Man, I hate the whole inventory management with, uh, like... Uh, okay, you get to hold, like, two items. But you need about 30 at any given time. Okay. Speed run our way through here. Oh, Chansey. Throw the bait. Missed. Throw a rock. Angry, they ran. They don't ever explain, like, what either the throwing rocks or throwing bait do. That's a little bit annoying. A little bit of a poor conveyance type situation. I guess the mentality at the time is, you'll figure it out eventually, through trial and error. Is this 
costume the right way? I don't think so. Oh, what are you? Oh, it's Nina Arena. Oh, I, I, I think I've got one of those. I like their sprite, though. <laughs> over this way. Go around. Making it through here in lightning fast time. Big Scyther. Eat the food. Also catch this rock. And then they ran. Like why would they even give us the throw the rock option? <laughs> Give him to Pikachu. Pikachu got grills. What's TM32? Oh, double team. I don't need double team. That's hardly worth going back for. Give me surf. For surviving the surfari zone. Let's see if we can't catch ourselves something interesting on our way out. Finally got surf. time we have? 89. Okay. My time. I mean, steps. Ooh, Rhyhorn. Catch, catch this. I'm gonna not use throwing the rock at them. Why are they... If they're eating, why would they run? Why are you running? Real talk though, if, if we can catch Tauros here, I, I have heard that they are totally broken. Like they're, I guess, the single best uh, hyper beam user that there is. At least in first gen. That is a very strong competitive choice. Can we catch this Kangaskhan? We just spam Safari Balls and just hope it works. Maybe that's just the thing here. Your odds of catching anything is just super low. You just gotta encounter them like a million times, and then hope one of them is the is the one that happens to be the time you catch it. Ding dong, time up. Sorry, game over. Did you get a good haul? I got Surf at least, which means I don't have to do this scam again. In 
then we proceed to teach our Pikachu how to swim. Back to the old Pokemon Center we go. Why do I feel compelled every time we walk in here to like try and heal Pokemon? We don't we don't need to do that. Uh Surf. Who will be our surfer? Could be War Total, could be Snorlax. Snorlax can swim? I guess he can float. It's like fat is like buoyant. Snorlax boat. No. We get War Turtle up in here. Trying to learn surf. Can't learn more than. I'm tempted to like. S swap out the War Turtle for Eevee, get Vaporeon, teach them surf. But I think War Turtle's a better choice, actually. Yeah, get rid of... what? Withdraw is kinda useful. That's like really strategic. I think we do get rid of Tackle. In, in favor of Surf here. Promptly store the TMs. Well, TM and HM and the protein. <laughs> Time to do a tooth delivery now. I guess we're the tooth fairy. This is where Safari and I lives. We have the gold teeth of the warden. I don't understand a word that I said. I couldn't work that way. Let me give you something for your trouble. HMO4? Is that what I think that is? String. Two HMs for the price of one. Everybody but Pikachu and Venusaur can learn that. Oh, Charizard can learn that. That would actually be big, because I think Strength is Fighting type. So then Charizard would actually give us Fighting type coverage. Or Sandslash could learn it. Or Snorlax could learn it. Oh man, I think it's between Charizard and Snorlax. Charizard knows Fly. I'm going to have to look at their moves. I feel like it's gotta be one of them. Charizard got the 81 attack. Uh, you can get rid of Scratch. But I kinda wanna give them more fire type moves. That means we just have to replace Ember. I like Slash and I like Fly. Meanwhile, Snorlax, what, we, we'll teach them like Hyper Beam? They've only got 76 attack though. They got Headbutt, Amnesia, Rest. Amnesia's kind of useless on them, because they don't actually know any special attacks. That'd be kind of good if Snorlax had like fighting coverage, I think. I thought I got headbutt going on for him. 
So we go for like a like a physical Snorlax build. In which case we don't need amnesia. They got rest, they got headbutt. Okay, I think I think Snorlax is the choice. That'll give us more space for fire type moves on uh, Charizard. He's all big and strong. Snorlax's power has awakened. Snorlax can move boulders. I mean, he basically is a boulder. We get rare candy. Oh, yes. I wonder how good these moves are actually in battle. If dig and cut are anything to go by. Probably better than you would think. Which is crazy, because I swear in like, Gen 3, which is the one I played the most, I don't think the HM moves were that were that good. Maybe I'm just misremembering it because I never paid that much attention because I was stupid and young. And I basically just used Blaziken to like spam uh, attacks and just relied on level advantage to just sweep through everything. So we definitely don't need this anymore. A rare candy or HMO4, because we already used the HM. Alright. With that, we can swim, we can move boulders, we can fly. What can't we do? Now the big question is, where to next? We go... Lavender Town... Celadon, Saffron, Route 11... We're supposed to go around this way. But why though? Yusha City. I guess it's saying either route works to get to Fuchsia City. And then after you've done Safari Zone, Seafoam Island, Cinnabar. We can Cinnabarly contain ourselves. out front. Venusaur? We're gonna be up against psychic types. What beats psychic? Cause psychic is scary in this game. Okay, we need to head south. Does one go south? Go north uh, a negative amount. Uh, well. I guess it's directly south of Fuchsia. I think we were right next to where we were supposed to be. Yeah, I feel like it's like south of where the, the Pokemon Center is. That's where our road out of town 
can be found. Hopefully we can fight some trainers that aren't poison-typed. Or something equally annoying. Yeah, here it is. Alright, Pikachu. <laughs> Are you ready to electrify the entire ocean? But, real quick though, before we continue, I'm gonna take a quick hydration and ventilation break. Because it is getting spicy over here. I'll be back in like a minute or two. And then we're going to zap the entire ocean. Be right back. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. This is the part where uh, we start getting swarmed by water type Zubats. But we start getting really happy that we ended up with the Pikachu at the start of the game, because this is where Pikachu really shines, and sparkles, and really electrifies the competition. More turtle. Someone's away. We are now a Lime Green Seal. That's kind of crazy how the ocean, like, flashes green. We're gonna have the strongest Blastoise if he's trying to swim. Like, just taking to the water for the first time. 
with a with a Venusaur on his back. That's a that's a lot of weight. And with the razor leaves. I think Venusaur ought to be our toxic user, right? Not very effective. Oh yeah, because apparently them being poison type is way more relevant than them being water type. I look at the sea to forget. Yeah, I can see being too distracted with all the sea monsters. AKA every bit of wildlife in the ocean. Fine whip. Critical hit. Will we change Pokemon? I think not. Super effective. Yeah, poison powder is like a, just like a really bad version of toxic. When you think about it. Dramatic. <laughs> oh boy, what is it this time? Oh, how could I have known? It is tentacle. And we miss. And we're confused. I have a Pikachu. I swear if that poisons. I think that just lowers defense, right? Yeah. Pikachu. So nice of them to put this uh, wall around the entire ocean to make sure that you don't go the wrong way. really should be leading the, uh, soon-to-be Blastoise. Of course, I got, like, one pixel health left. Razor Leaf. Leaf us alone. So what happens if I throw out the War Turtle? Do we just like sink into the ocean because now they're fighting? Surf? Like... <laughs> That's what Surf looks like in this game. Have an entire o have an entire army of water droplets and then a then a spout of oil, I suppose. Poison sting. Okay. Constrict. Super effective. Big Pikachu energy. War to a level 3, 32? What, is it gonna be like 34 to get the Blastoise? I feel like the Grass type probably evolves first. The Fire type probably evolves last. The average of them would be 34. Because Charizard at 36, Venusaur at 32.
bunch of jellyfish. Just the, uh... Most annoying thing we can deal with out here in the ocean. Wait, how is it? That's really annoying how it's like, oh, they're poison type, so that means grass is not actually that effective, even though they're also water type. Like, you'd think that they'd cancel each other out and it'd be like normal effectiveness, but I wonder if that's like partially due to the fact that they're like. Maybe they're poison first, water second, and it, like whatever type they are first matters more? Thirty-four. Oh, it's Venusaur. They're already evolved. So why are we green? We're in the ocean. Still smell like land. I'm just gonna start running from these. They're like not even high enough level to be worth our time. We're not going to get any experience, they're just going to keep annoying us Zubat style. Is Dive a move in this game? Like an HM? Goldeen. They really call him Goldeen and they're not even gold. Withdraw. I might actually keep withdraw. I feel like that's that's how you play War Twirtle. The whole a good defense is a good offense type strategy. That's what it's all about. to use shelter. Withdraw again, just for good measure. Make it so they can't do anything. I don't think they've got that good a move, so we could probably just spam this a little bit. It doesn't look like that's actually affecting our stats anymore. So now I guess we just spam bite. Yeah, it's probably just like two levels away from uh, Blastoise. Sea King. The King of the Sea. Pointy Fish. Over a thousand experience. Have to fish for sea Pokemon. Oh, there's like a whole cluster of guys down here, but then only one of them stayed around whenever it was going to the you're now being attacked by a jellyfish screen. Also, I probably should have bought more potions while we were near a mart. Okay, we gotta fight all these guys. These waters are treacherous. They sure are. For you. Because I'm in them. Five Pokemon. See, they never do this in like the, the newer games. So this would actually be really beneficial to spam. Uh, you're not going to poison us, are you? Spam withdraw. Get our defense up really high. That way we can just, like, tank everything else they throw at us. And then... Okay, if... If they're poison first, I guess... Yeah, we'll just have to spam by it. 
Hopefully we get rid of them before the, they manage to successfully poison us. More total level 33. I think that means we got one level left. Kind of surprised how much damage that's doing. Yeah, withdraw seems like a really good counter to uh, constrict type moves. Oh no, a single point of damage. Let me guess, they're all going to be jellyfish, right? Oh. I stand immediately corrected. But we're still pretty significantly higher level than them. Our defense is so high, they can't do anything. We just sit comfortably in the orange. I might use a healing item, but I don't really feel the need to. Oh yeah, and bite can cause you to flinch, so they don't even get that turn. Smoke screen. What is that gonna do? Accuracy. That's fine. Got to use Tentacruel. We don't need a switch. War Turtle got this. Chomp right through him. Oh, that was a crit? I was just like, oh, they must they must be like way better at doing damage. Nope. They just managed to crit. And we're just gonna melt right through him. Indestructible war turtle. Is that does that mean they evolve? Vita Swimmer? Dangerous? Money? Oh, they didn't evolve? Okay, so there goes my theory. They're level 34. When do you evolve, Blue Turtle? What's their defense stat? 67. Compared to Charizard's... 76. So, Max Evolution Firestarter is scarcely more, uh, defense than... And Charizard's, like, way higher level, too. Meanwhile, <laughs> Sand Slash defense 105. I guess we'll use our last type of potion on War Turtle. I need to get more potions next time we're in town. Don't let me forget. I just left you right. Can I have it if I win? Uh, no. What is it with these weird people just wanting our Pokemon? I forget how many Pokemon this this person has. I'll use Withdraw once. Double slap. Oh no! That's a triple slap, you cheater! That's a quadruple slap! One shot. Oh yeah, they got five Pokemon. Yeah, we can use a couple more uh, withdraws. Just make it so we're just indestructible.
and then we spam bite, and then we win. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh, we can actually use some of these ethers. More turtle. Bite. Okay, that restores 10. Don't you hit yourself. Darn it. Stupid fish confusion. Confusion. Just bite the fish, please. Can defend. Can, uh. Okay, yeah, confusion wears off eventually. Is training War Turtle up to be the ultimate tank? So whenever they become Blastoise? Uh. It's a. Uh, Indestructible shell. He's starting to believe. That's a lot of money. Still a long way to go to Seafoam Islands. You should be wearing sunscreen. There we go. Public service announcement time. Uh, wear sunscreen. If you spend a significant amount of time outside. Trust me. Future you will thank you for that. I think we use that, uh, withdraw there. Thirty-five? Is it Blastoise time? No? Tank it. Oh, that's... That's a... Buff fish. Crit him. Again, no power points. Ah, man. Fighting our time. Wait, fight is a Pokemon move. Critical hit. We can survive that. Probably. Mm, never mind. We're sunk. Thunder wave. What? You're kidding me. Revive War Turtle. I want them to get the experience from this. Really want Blastoise. I was just like, Pikachu can tank this, it's a fish. They proceed to nearly one-shot us. Oh, 
Okay, can we fly from the middle of the ocean? We can. Have our strangely birdie looking Charizard fly us back to Fuchsia. So glad we have fly. Take a moment to appreciate our Charizard here. Our own scaly private jet. Oh, I should probably have got some items too. Again, Charizard. Set it on. We go to the big store because we can. Why would we go anywhere else for our Pokemon merchandising needs? I'd like to make a purchase. Oh, I need to buy like, literally all of these. 2,000, 3,000. If I were to buy all of these. 3, 6, 9, 12. That's like 20,000. We could do that. Not at the moment, but we could do that. Super potions? Yeah, we'll, we'll grab a bunch of super potions. Alright. Just have our personal jet take us back to Fuchsia again. Man, I'm right now I'm having a particular moment of I wish Pokemon were real. Can you imagine? You wanna go somewhere, you can just have your Charizard fly you somewhere. Like Oh I want I wanna go to a to a fast food place and get get some food. I'm just I'm I'm feeling kinda hungry. Let me just walk outside and uh hop on the back of my dragon friend and have him fly me somewhere. That's the kind of society I want to live in. Wait. This is just a trainer we missed before, somehow? Huh, I thought we cleared all these ones up here. What's that? You want to go fly to a city on the other side of the country? Your your dragon buddy's got you covered. You won't have to go through airport security or anything. Gnosis. I didn't I didn't know that they could learn that. I guess it makes sense because they're all spirally. Good thing we managed to get uh get our defenses up before that. I see so much potential in, in War Twirtle here. I'm gonna just do another withdraw really quick. 
That was probably the right choice. We wouldn't have been able to beat them in one turn. But yes, I'm aware I could be switching to another Pokemon, but... That would require us to not get as much experience on the War Turtle. I gotta get that Blastoise. Are they gonna be the one that requires the most experience, actually? Like 38 or something? That'd be really weird if you don't get Blastoise until an experience... until like a level higher than getting Charizard. In my opinion, at least. I don't know. Game Freak definitely likes their water types. Only 150 bucks. Cheap. Now we're right back to where we were. How much do they need? 56, 96, that's enough to be 40 wasted, so I'm gonna wait. I'm going for a minute to swim to the Seafoam Island. Wait, you're not gonna fight us? Oh, I might have already fought them. I swam here, but I'm tired. Why don't you just surf on the back of your Pokemon? I'm sure you've got all water types. Give us another free turn to build up our defense. Oh, they're using the same strategy. Fight them. Barely got us down to the orange. Just tank everything. More turtle. Recover? Is that a full heal? No, it isn't. Shame for them. Oh, they did manage to survive that, though. Just barely. Come on, 36. That's weird. If it's if they're gonna if War Turtle's gonna be 36 before they turn into Blastoise, then it's like why is it Charizard and Blastoise are both 36, but Venusaur is 32? I wonder if it's based on types. Thirty-six? Okay, moment of truth. Defeated him. Exhausted. We got money. War Turtle's evolving, it is 36. Here they go. Enhance. It's Blastoise in an awesome action pose there. Just like... Mentally editing in like a skateboard or something underneath him. Like he's just done a sick flip up in the air. That's how I'm going to choose to interpret this and not Blastoise stabbing. So what's their defense now? 86. At 36. Versus Charizard being one level higher. 76. And then that attack is 81, and a speed of 95. 74, 70. So they're slower, but they, they have way higher defense.
Also, I gotta check the Pokedex entry now. So that means we've got all of the Kanto starters fully evolved. Blastoise. <laughs> Shellfish. Literally. Wait, it's not a fish, that's a turtle. Or a tortoise. Hey man, it's gonna be a blast out water with even more force than a fire hose. We have a pressure washer. Okay, I think it's a bit farther to the seafoam islands. Just gonna skip these tentacles. That's kind of a weird sprite for Blastoise from from this side. Oh wait, there's just a wall in the ocean? That means there, there's probably a corner to the ocean. Oh, level 30 tentacle. That's weird. They literally range from like level 5 up to level 30. Oh, of course there's a block here that keeps you from standing in the corner of the ocean. One person can't have that much power. Did I fight that guy up there before? I'm gonna try it. Yeah, <laughs> hit a level 30 tentacle and now there's just a level 5 just hanging out right next to him. Oh yeah, it's the same cluster of guys. Okay, so we go this way. <laughs> Why are you riding a Pokemon? Why aren't you riding a Pokemon? Can't you swim? Can't you catch some decent water types? Someone wants to fight. Got the horsey. As usual, giving us the side eye like that. And at least do two withdraws here. Indestructible turtle. And just bite through everything. Actually, we could probably switch who we're leading now because we've got the Blastoise. Yeah, let's switch back to our Pikachu over here because he will just zap right through these water types. I wonder how, how far electricity remains like a problem if you're like in the ocean and like lightning strikes nearby. Like, how far away do you have to be to be safe? Oh! Not gonna lie, Cedra's sprite looks really cool in this game. Unfortunately, their stats aren't higher than that. Got a level 35 Pikachu. I should be really thinking about who we're gonna use to fight uh, the Psychic Gym Leader. I'm pretty sure they're next. Could probably use Toxic to get through there. Torpedoed. Okay, they're level 36. They're only level 34. Actually, Snorlax would be a good Pokemon. Well, they're not going to be able to stand up too much to the Psychic types. Uh... Charizard's part flying, which is super affected by that. Are we just gonna lean on Sand Slash again? Mm. Pikachu. 
I guess we should switch Venusaur in place, because they're super effective against this stuff, and they're pretty low level. Relatively. They could probably use it the most. Swimmer wants to fight. I can't tell what's going on with this Venusaur sprite. To use Cloister. Raise our heat. Critical hit as usual. Splash. Wish I could ride my Pokemon. Can't you? I'm pretty sure you can use Surf on those. Maybe they, it's because they don't have the badge yet, because they're not that good of a trainer. Seafoam is a quiet getaway. Sea draw. Super effective. Now oh, they're level 35. About to use Horsey. I don't know. I'm still torn about who should be our toxic user. If I should make the Sand Slash even more ninja like, or if Venusaur should get it because they're actually poison type. I mean, Toxic does status effect stuff, so it's not like we're gonna get same type attack bonus. Like a like Will O' Wisp, but for poison. Definitely not Snorlax, because I want to give Snorlax other stuff. It's gotta be Venusaur Sand Slash. Huge cavern underneath the island. Wait, how do I get on the land? Uh. Oh, we can just... Okay, we just walk on there. That looked like it was, like, too high. Signs everywhere. Seafoam is lens. Okay, choices. Caves? Or... Ocean. Actually... Nothing here. Nothing here. Maybe something over there? Nope. Item fighter, kind of a dud. At least we don't need the, uh, we don't need Flash here. Out the way, Zubats. Are there gonna be rock types here? Probably need to check out this part of the cave, too. Ooh. Mystery Square. Krabby? 
I'm up for catching a crab. How are we gonna do this? Maybe bring out the Snorlax? Uh... Strength is normal type? I thought that was fighting type. Strength. And it one-shot. Hey, it's that thing I was trying not to do. So I could actually catch them. Wait. Is this a puzzle? Do we need to push the rocks into the into the holes? Can I can I jump in here? I can. I probably shouldn't. I'm compelled to do so anyway. Wait. What? The game's taking over. Okay, now we're back in control. We can't go back that way. Is there like a like a current that's like really strong there or something? There's an Ultra Ball here. I am so glad I chose to keep a hold of our uh, escape rope, just in case. All right, Blastoise. Uh, I'm gonna put Surf to good use again. What's the sign say? Danger, fast current. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what it was. So I guess we explore the bottom of the cave first. Boulders might change the flow of water. Oh no, this is a current puzzle? Let me out. So if I swim over here... Actually... It's this way. I feel like there's... This is gonna be a really convoluted area. It's probably gonna be easy to overlook... Like a hidden item or something around here somewhere. I'm just really glad that we didn't need Flash. brought a repel. Okay, I'm gonna swim over this way because I, I think we're gonna end up coming back this way, but I still want to see what's what our options are. Current is too fast. Okay, that's not even an option. That's good. That rules out another potential path. Why does this go down the stairs to get here? Weird. And this would be... Kingler. That's a big claw. I'd rather get the Krabby so I can evolve him. Gold Bat. Wait a second. Oh, thought there'd be something hidden there. Jokes on me, it was over here the whole time. Uh, is there something hidden back there? Why is that just blocked off? Oh, this is confusing. So if I just jump down here? Yeah, now we're in the water that's, like, too high of a current. I have no idea where we're even supposed to be down here.
What if I go the other way? Okay, we got another Krabby. I want to at least catch one of them. I'll try it with the Fine Whip. That's only five level difference. Not super effective. Of course it is. What was I thinking? Take two. Or three, I guess, technically. Maybe I throw out Charizard? That shouldn't do as much. Yeah, as long as this doesn't crit, I think I could hit him again with that. Ah, it crit. The one time I didn't want it to crit. But Charizard's 38 now. I take that. Wait. Okay, I think this is the escape path. Uh... Or would be the escape path. Can I break those rocks? Man, I hate Zubat. Pokemon. Strength. Oh. It doesn't work. So, this is just a dead end. Okay, so this is a pointless path. So this is a pointless uh, ladder. Perfect. That's a pretty key idea here, I think, is ruling out all the paths that go literally nowhere. Or just back where we came. So this is the only way forward. Just the, the current is too strong. So we have one ladder here. Or we can go south this way. This is where we were. But why are those rocks there though? What's what's the point of that? Must be like a push puzzle, right? We gotta push one back and then this one. String. Push this forward. Oh. We can fix it. We go around this way. What are you? Seal? That's a very blue seal. I really want to catch him. Don't headbutt Pikachu, what are you doing? Underway. And quick attack? They'll probably survive that. Oh yeah, they easily survive that. Okay, we probably need something else. Not sand slash. Uh Are they part ice type? Should I not use a fire type move against them? Maybe I'll use fly? No, I'll use scratch. couple times. Please no crit. Okay, they're in the orange and they're paralyzed. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. With a great ball for in increased odds. 
Yeah, there it is. Seal the deal. Everything I know is a lie. Seal. AKA Sea Lion. I I'm in disbelief. Most recent cold conditions. Relish swimming in a frigid climate of around fourteen Fahrenheit degrees. Why would they change it to Fahrenheit? Why are they using Fahrenheit in the Pokemon universe? No. Can we do that? That way we can go around this way, right? After we get attacked by... Jumbo Bat. Let me do this. Then we can go around. There it went. I hope that's what we're meant to do. Because that's what we did. Oh! Actually, though... Okay. Everything makes sense now. What are you? Gao? What? Articuno's just down here? I'll be honest with you, I, I don't think I've ever seen them in the game before. I think childhood me couldn't figure out like the puzzle or something down here. And I just haven't played this game in years. And yeah, uh, no, I'm completely surprised by this. I, I had no idea Articuno was just hanging out in the bottom of this cave. Okay, I'm gonna do something I probably, uh, maybe shouldn't, but I'm just gonna go ahead and save this state really quick. Because we're, we're catching this. Level 50. Razor Leaf. Ice Beam. That's bad news. E. Okay then. Uh. Thunder Wave. Please survive, Pikachu. Okay. Uh. Last voice. Withdraw. Okay, that doesn't do as much. It's still really bad for us. Defense Rose. Item. We have revives. If I revive the Pikachu, Pikachu can use uh, Thunder Wave. I just want to get one Thunder Wave in. If I can just get one Thunder Wave in, I think, I think we are golden. Please survive. Okay. Thunder Wave. May not attack. We did get an Ultra Ball. Okay, switch. Charizard? We've got a significant level advantage. Or le level disadvantage. So I think I could use Ember, and they'd probably survive at least one of those. Why are they one-shotting us? 
How is that super effective? We're flying fire type. Why would ice be super effective against fire or flying? Okay. I guess it's Snorlax then. Strength. Please survive, Articuno. Of course, they usually survive. Are they gonna one-shot Snorlax? Rest. Okay, they're fully paralyzed. Okay. They, they just pack, even though they're fully paralyzed. That makes sense. Uh... Amnesia, headbutt. Oh man. Strength again? Maybe a little crit? Nah. That's just gonna that's just gonna take him out. And we gotta go back to Sand Slash. Slash will crit. I don't want it to crit. Ground is super effective. No, ground is super effective. We want a slash. No, they're 10 levels above us. I'm gonna slash. This might take him out. I'm gonna revert the save if that happens. We can't not catch Articuno. Okay. Hopefully we should survive one Ice Beam. We don't survive a single Ice Beam. We have Pikachu with 10 HP and that's it. Revive. Last voice. We're fully paralyzed. Okay. Uh, item, max potion, we'll save the max potion for Blastoise, we'll super potion the Pikachu. The use pack, please don't knock us out entirely in one turn. Okay, we can survive another turn. I think we go for the Ultra Ball now. Come on. We got him! I didn't have to use the safe state. Articuno. We've caught Articuno. I am I am shocked in disbelief. What are they doing in the cave in the first place? They're they're like a bird, they fly. <laughs> Articuno, otherwise known as Freeze. A legendary bird Pokemon, it freezes water that it is contained in winter air and makes it snow. I've, I've never caught Articuno in this game before, I don't think. Well, that's insane. Okay, we probably want to get the heck out of this cave now, though. That's probably the big thing here, right? Uh... What else would be down here? That's actually my favorite of the three legendary birds, by the way.
just casually catch Articuno. <laughs> Man, I wish that we weren't being attacked every three steps. I know we don't have a star you, but we're, we're just... Uh, I guess I'll give it a shot. Okay, if they can survive a single Thundershock, then we'll try and catch them. Okay. I'm just gonna use regular Pokeballs, though, because we need to get rid of those. Oh man. Star shape. As long as this intersection is unharmed, it can grow back fully even if it's chopped to How do you know that? Don't don't answer that question. Okay, and that's just a dead end. So that's as far as this goes. We have Articuno. changes everything. Like, do I remove Snorlax and replace with Articuno? I'd be tempted. What else is down here? Change the flow of water. Yeah, we already figured that out. A crustacean. Did I catch you already? Catch these bolts. Oh, this is a dead end. Okay, the only way out is up this way. I don't know if there's anything else down here. I could have swore there'd be like another way out because of the uh, the other cave. Like there's another entrance at the top. Oh, it, the game's taking over for us. I guess we gotta change the current again. Danger, fast current. We go up here? Or was this the dead end? So we fall in this hole. After we get attacked by another bat. Or a slow poke. Okay. Give him a little zip zap. If he survives, we'll catch him. Confusion. Catch this. I'm so glad that we caught him, because if he's going to spam confusion, that would have been really a problem for us. <laughs> Slowpoke. Also known as Dopey. Incredibly slow and sluggish, is quite content to loll about without worrying about the time. If only we could all be like Slowpoke sometimes. Oh, game taking over again. Uh, okay. I feel like I really wish that we could have more than six Pokemon on our team, because I really want Articuno. But who do we remove? How do you even make that choice? Uh... So what's... Where do I gotta go to uh, change the currents around? The other room.
I'm almost wanting to say, like... That's probably- that, that has to be the big thing in this cave, right? Maybe I just escape rope out? I think we ought to. We could come back if we need other stuff from here. And actually heal up, too. I bet we could probably fly back to the island. Can I surf here? Oh. Game's in charge again. Oh, it take it it takes us back here. Yeah, I think there's something else here, maybe an item, maybe like a TM or something. I kinda don't really care about that that much. I'm gonna just escape rope out. Cause uh as far as I'm concerned. We, we caught Articuna. And that takes us back to the Pokemon Center, somehow. Okay. Just teleport me across the entire ocean. Why don't ya? I wonder what moves they have. Is that gonna be our secret weapon against the next gym leader? I just look at the Pokemon? I guess I can't look at the Pokemon. Deposit Snorlax so I can look at the Pokemon. Level 50. Ice flying. They're like the ice Charizard. It just has Peck and Ice Beam. That's crazy to me. I guess we'll... Wait, why did I take Slowpoke? Put the Slowpoke back. I need my Snorlax back. Because we'll, we'll need them for whenever we need strength or whatever. But after we can fly everywhere... We could probably put the Snorlax away. And then swap them out for Articuno? Please tell me we can fly to the islands. Oh no, we, we actually can't fly to the islands. Oh no. Of course. Okay. Wait. I literally flew two tiles away. <laughs> Alright, Blastoise. Set sail. Back to the islands again. So where's the other birds at, I wonder? I got Flying Flareon and Pekachu to catch. I should invest in a bunch of repels. What a strange structure out here in the ocean. What even are these? Batteries? Cylindrical bushes? Who's swimming out here to trim the cylindrical bushes? Yeah, like, surely we can get over there somehow. I'm gonna- I'm gonna keep swimming from here. 
on the Blastoise. Also, I'm gonna grab this two liter of uh, ice water really quick. Because it is a uh, spicy time over here. I love floating with the fishies. Well, you definitely seem to be in the right place. An even match. 35 versus 35. Fine whip. Probably should have used Razor Leaf, actually. Venusaur is confused. And the old zip zap treatment. Critical hit. Super effective. Rip in peace. Youch. No. Wait, there's nothing over here. You lied to me. There's no way to go over there. So we do have to go through the cave. Well, at least we're fully healed now. Is there like a way I can just walk over here? Okay, so these rocks are just like a barrier. Slowpoke. What a what a weird Pokemon. Okay. This rock should be easy enough to move. Why does it say reconnecting in uh OBS? Don't tell me. How long has that been out? I wish it would play like a sound or something so I know when that happens. Is my internet out? Surely not. Okay, it reconnected. Okay, yeah. It just showed up on stream again. I don't know how long that was out. I, I just noticed that over there. I'm hoping that, that I, I caught it just as it happened. Uh, I guess worst case scenario, I just gotta edit a bit out whenever I put this on YouTube. The heck? Okay. Continuing on. I swear, Florida's just the, the most cursed state. Use this big Snorlax strength. And just push these rocks around. Redirect the currents. Yeah, in the event that, uh, that was actually disconnected for a significant amount of time, uh, you can find all of my stream recordings on YouTube. There should be a, a button below my stream. Or, I guess a link, rather.
So th there is an Arctic Black uh, full streams channel that I keep all my all my streams on since I started in like November. If everything goes well, I should have this video posted in like a day or two. Hopefully didn't miss too much. They really need to make it so that like OBS gives you like a like a notification like hey your your stuff is uh, disconnected. Should I just go down the hole that I pushed the rock in? That's probably the oh, I can't jump down this ledge. Uh, hop in here. Oh. Push that. These holes are just slightly misaligned. There's still another one. I wonder what else is down here. If on the one side you got literally Articuno. What is it gonna be? Like a TM for like Aurora Beam or something? I don't even know if that exists yet. Ice Beam exists. Oh, this takes us back here. Is there like a different path I can go besides here? No, this is just a closed... ...swimming pool at the bottom of the mountain, or the island. Now seal. So this doesn't go anywhere but down that hole. So whatever it is, it's up there. So I guess we gotta go around the long, the long way here. Almost got the complete mental map of the area. Up here. Articuno Caverns. Okay, that's where the current will take over. So we need to find another way up. Or another way down so we can find another way up. Like here? Oh, this is the same area. Cave of Confusion. Cave uses Confuse Ray, it's super effective. Oh wait, no, this is exactly where we need to be. I think. Seal, you're better than than a Zubat. Is there like another path up here?
You're the one who's, who, who taught Steel to act like this, aren't you? I'm having none of it. Okay, yeah, we need one more boulder here. Which means we go up. And then over here? I need I need to buy like a million repels. Is there rocks up here? Just push the crab to the side. Why are they even successfully stopping us? Surely we're faster than a crab. It's just like a really fast crab? Like some sort of Indiana Jones style temple? We've accidentally like triggered some sort of tripwire on the floor and then the giant crab comes rolling after us? Oh, there's a nugget here. Free money. Free headache to go with it. Okay, going up. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might just, uh, leave. Wait, I can't, because th this is where we literally have to go through. I can't swim around the other guy. That was like three steps. Okay, I need to go get some repels. Like this is... This is ridiculous. I'm sure I'm like spending like four times as much time down here. As I should be. I have a lot of patience, but even I have a limit. You're a slowpoke. Why are you able to attack us like this? Why can't I not just run? Oh wait, that might be the boulder we need actually. The end might be in sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snow X can handle it. Even though it looks like we're the ones doing it. It's just a massive strength check. Wait, what? This sprite makes us makes his claw like the big claw look way bigger than normal. They're like bigger than the rest of them. Right, and this is the dead end from before. I I should have known. Oh, that's a good thing that that didn't work. All right, that's blocked off now, which means we can actually get here. He's been waiting for us the whole time.
This must be like the most convoluted cave in the game. Oh my gosh, is that sunlight? I've never been so happy to see it in my life. Is there anything hidden out here? Okay. Back to the Zs. Challenger approaches. Are you on vacation too? Oh, nothing says vacation like making our pets fight each other to the death. Cool. Hope you're ready to throw hands with the salad. Oh yeah, that's right, because they're part poison type. That means their water typing is totally irrelevant. How did I forget? One good vine whip would sort that out. About to use horsey. We can we can keep them, they're not poison type. Go for a racer leaf, go for the crits. And lastly, they've got seal. And I think I will switch to the Pikachu for this. There's, there's no way this doesn't one-shot him. No mercy at all. Remember, you're the one who chose to fight me. You get what you deserve. Check out my buff physique. Uh, do I know you? Definitely not. What does he mean his buff physique? It's not the word I would use. the swimmer down. So how are we doing in terms of Pokemon? I wonder if the Pikachu that you get even evolves at some point. I feel like if they evolved into Raichu, they probably wouldn't be following you around anymore. And then everything else is maxed out, uh, evolution-wise. So I'm here from Cinnabar Island. We must be getting close. Just, uh... Go for the crits here. I'm kind of nervous about this upcoming gem. Not sure really how we're gonna deal with all the psychic types. That's one of those weird types that's like super unintuitive, like what what works against a psychic? Ghost type maybe? I think dark type probably, but that doesn't exist yet. Wait what? Only one have taken over an abandoned mansion on Cinnabar. How exciting. Okay. The ocean wall is, uh, just to the south of our, uh, view. 
I'll just kind of hug the edge of the ocean here. Oh? We've arrived. Cinnabar Island. Like a fruit punch red. Uh, note, don't eat anything colored with actual cinnabar because I'm pretty sure that that has mercury in it. Do you have any- <laughs> Wow. Twinglins <laughs> can still learn techniques after canceling evolution. Evolution can wait until new moves have been learned. Yeah, that's weird that there's like some moves that you can't learn by level up after you evolve. So sometimes it's actually best to cancel evolution until they learn a specific move and then evolve them from there. Which is really weird. Wait, what do they sell at the market here? Never hurts to have extra items. It does when you can only carry 20. Ultra Ball, Great Ball, Hyper Potion. Let's go ahead and grab a few of those. Max Repel. You know what? Actually, I don't know if there's any more caves left at this point. I think we've used like a couple of these. I only want to buy stuff that we're actually going to use. We started getting legendary showing up, so I want to keep a few Ultra Balls in hand. Hyper Potion, Max Repel... Uh... That's probably good, right? Ultra Ball 8, Ether... Escape Rope, Max Ether... Oh yeah, we want to sell the Nugget while we're here. Now that does nothing but, uh, give us money. I think that's all we need, right? Uh, Ultra Ball, Max Potion. Yeah, we're good. This is a Pokemon Lab. Oh yeah, this is where the fossils go. We study Pokemon extensively here. People often bring us rare Pokemon for examination. Photo of the lab's founder, Dr. Fuji. Pokemon lab meeting room. R&D room. Testing room. Anybody at home? Oh, there's quite a few people here. Trade your gold duck for Rhydon. I don't have a gold duck. Very strange fossil in Mount Moon. Huh. You have Growlithe. I don't. Is this another pic picture of the guy who founded the place? A little bit of a narcissist. Eevee can evolve into one of three kinds of Pokemon. Wow, three whole Pokemon? An amber pipe. Oh, we can only look at the one in the middle. That's weird. I made a, made a cool TM? You can make TMs. This guy made a TM. And cause all kinds of fun. Is that... Is that what I think it is? Like, try attack or whatever? Metronome. Oh. What can learn metronome? Snorlax can learn metronome. Uh... I'll consider that heavily. Can 
Three legendary bird Pokemon or Articuno, we got that one. Plan to explore the cavern close to Cerulean. Which cavern is close to Cerulean? Was that the one we got Articuno from? Gone map. Cerulean. Computer. Cerulean. There's a cave near here? So one of the birds is there. Either Zapdos or Moltres. There's an email message. Oh. Why am I reading the emails off the keyboard? Oh, I'm, I'm looking at the letters that are like more worn in, and I'm like piecing them together like some sort of supercomputer figuring out what he typed. Turn on the PC. Oh, this is just a regular PC. Right. That's convenient. Let's pull out some fossils, because I think these guys take them and convert them into Pokemon Jurassic Park style. Uh, yeah, deposit that. Can I hold all of them? Wait. Yeah, we got we got five item slots. So we'll take our Helix fossil. And we got Amber too. What's this PC? Oh, it's just another regular PC. I'm trying to read all their confidential emails. The world needs to know. Looking for a Kangaskhan. Want to trade for a Muck? Who would ever do that? Who would actively switch Kangaskhan for Muck? Important Doctor. Rare Pokemon fossils. Have you got a fossil? We do indeed. Let's we'll start with the Helix fossil, shall we? Ammonite. Already extinct. Resurrection Machine. Oh man. Wait. Does that mean technically, canonically, if there are like fossils from Pokemon from like the Hisui region, could they use like the Resurrection Machine to like bring back the uh. like the Hisuian forms of Pokemon? As long as there's like a fossil for them? So, uh, we probably should have thought more about this decision, are we- is it responsible to bring back Pokémon from who knows however long ago? Actually, this means Pokémon have been on- on the world long enough for them to make fossils. Take a little time. Go for a walk for a little while. Fair enough. I mean, can't be easy. Uh, resurrecting Pokemon from the, uh, from the grave. Are you done yet? Okay. Right, right, right. It's gotta, it's gotta take a little bit. I mean, who knows how long it could take to, uh, do such an intricate process as taking the fossil and uh, bringing the Pokemon back from whatever time period they're from. Okay, are you done yet? Where were you? What? <laughs> Your fossil is back to life. And alright, that took forever. <laughs> it was Almanite, like I think. Wanna give a, give a nickname to it? Uh. No more room for Pokemon? Send it to the box. Now for the Amber. Aerodactyl. That's 
That's gonna be a big piece of amber. Like, absolutely no, uh, time for making a decision about whether or not to bring pterodactyls back from the grave. Just like, yeah, just do it. What's the worst that can happen? I just took this really long walk around the entire world really, really fast. Sorry it took me so long. It was Aerodactyl just like I thought. This guy's really an expert. He knows his fossils. Let's go take a look at him, shall we? I want to see what their sprites look like. You can't withdraw Pokemon because you already got six, so you can't look at them. You gotta put something else in there first before you can even look at your Pokemon. Oh! That's better than I was expecting. The color's a bit weird. But... That's still definitely Aerodactyl. Rock flying. I didn't know they were a rock flying type. Wing attack and agility. And then Omanite. Oh, I didn't mean to withdraw it. In like a some sort of bizarre cuttlefish, rock water type, water gun and withdraw. Interesting. I will withdraw my Snorlax. Pokemon are still fighting fit. Should I talk to these people here? I probably should. Yep. Oh yeah, I talked to this guy alright. Unfortunately. Uh... So what's the rest of the town like? Here's the gem. Scientists conduct experiments in the burned out building. Did they burn out the building? Son of our gems, Blayan, is an odd man who has lived here for decades. Hot-headed quiz master? What? Door's locked. Huh. Fiery town of burning- This is gonna be a fire-type gem? I thought this was gonna be the psychic-type. Uh, I guess it must be the, the seventh one there. Did we skip a gem somewhere? Actually, yeah, we, we did skip the one back in the other town. It was locked earlier. So this must be badge seven. What an excellent time to have Blastoise and Sand Slash. Who's here? Weird computer noises. Oh, that's just the town description. So weird. What is this? Oh, is this the abandoned uh, power plant? I'm gonna check the map. Well, this is the Pokemon Mansion. And the power plant's over here.
Why does the floor look like a tablecloth? Oh. Huh. Okay, well, this is, it's a, if this guy's gonna be fire type, I should probably have Blastoise leading us. Need the way, Blastoise. Escape rope. I get the feeling we're gonna need that. Weird. I don't remember this part of the game. I'll be honest, it's been a really long time since I've played this game. I don't actually remember this part. Nothing hidden here. Are these stairs? No. This kind of just leads to nowhere. Huh. I guess these are doors that are closed off and we gotta find a way through. I go this way. Oh, there's a statue and a bed. Secret switch. Who wouldn't? Growlith. We gotta get a Growlith. That is a required Pokemon. Good job. Sprinkle a little hot sauce on us. If I if I spritz him with a few drops of water, he'd probably die, so I'm just gonna use bite. Perfect. One move, one Pokeball. The ideal setup. The dream. Ah, close. Well, considering they're using just Ember against Blastoise that's ten levels higher than them, we've got all the time in the world. There it is. Growlithe, otherwise known as Puppy. A Pokemon with a friendly nature. It will bark fiercely at anything invading its territory. Oh, I didn't check these stairs before. the switch. What's this person doing here? I can't get out of this old place. This one big puzzle. So they're gonna attack us. Burglar wants to fight? What? I don't even remember this kind of trainer. They got Charmander. <laughs> The very angry Charmander sprite. Oh, that was not the right choice. Rainbow Rain, followed by Oil Spill. Charmeleon. Whoosh. 
Oh no, my bag of loot. Was not involved in this interaction in any way, shape, or form. Switches open and close alternating sets of doors. I had no idea. What are these things? Yeah. This is gonna take a while, I think, getting through here. I think, I think the smart thing to do. We are pretty much out of time for today. I think, I think I'll go back to the Pokemon Center. We'll pick this up where, we, where, where we're leaving off today on Friday. Oh my gosh, though, we, we got the Fossil Pokemon, we got Articuno, we got Surf, we visited the Safari Zone, we did a lot today. How do you feel about today, Pikachu? They definitely seem happy about all this. Also just realized, uh, red's actually red again. Or I guess we're technically yellow? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I think that's all the time we have for today. I'm gonna wrap things up here. I don't know what happened with the... Uh, the whole thing where uh, the stream disconnected earlier. Hopefully that didn't mess things up too bad. But yeah, we're, we're gonna pick up where we left off on Friday. Hope you guys have a great evening. Appreciate you for watching. And I guess when we come back, we'll be going through this mansion and getting ready for this presumably fire-type gym, which that's gonna be fun with the uh, Blastoise and Sandshrew. But yeah, until next time, have a good one.